going to talk about how to choose a great, fabulous local real estate agent. And I want to say that I am a real estate agent. This may sound self-serving in some ways, but I started my career as an investor, a cheapskate real estate investor who did not like agents and did not want to work with them. And now I buy property all across the country for investments. And I work with an agent every single time and I'm glad to do so. And I'm glad to pay them for their expertise. So here is what I recommend that you look for when you are choosing your agent. So number one, check their reputation. It's possible that you might be looking for someone who is, you know, specializes in condos and vacation property and mid-century modern homes. If there's something specific that you're looking for, be it a type of home or a neighborhood or a usage like commercial rental uh, investment, etc., I'd really recommend going with someone who has experience and knowledge about those areas specifically because the person who sells you an Airbnb might have very deep knowledge about that compared to someone who specializes in working with first time home buyers. So check their reputation. And I would also add to check their online reputation, right? They should have Google reviews and that type of thing. I caution you, sometimes we do see these companies with hundreds, I've even seen like over a thousand Google reviews. That's not for the agent that you're going to be working with. That's for the company, the team leader. A lot of times the way these uh, businesses work is that maybe there's one charismatic guy at the top and then you call him, oh, you have so many great Google reviews and he hands you off to one of the underlings or minions. So if it's important to you to work with a specific person or a specific team member, make sure that that's who you're going to be getting rather than just, you know, they're the pretty face on the sign and they are going to pawn you off on somebody else that may not have the experience or have earned all of those stars that you're seeing on online. Next, you want to make sure that your agent is knowledgeable about what's happening in the market. There are so many folks that are part-time agents or kind of opportunistic agents who don't have a consistent deal flow. And so they're not always at their team meetings. They're not always reading the news. They're not looking at the market statistics that get published by the MLS every month. So they're not really in a good position to tell you how to negotiate or what the trends are, how this impacts you. So look for someone who is up to speed with what's going on in the market where you want to be buying or selling. Next, let's talk about communication style. I think agents get a bad name for being very pushy and salesy and not uh, education oriented and consultative. In my practice, I really make an effort to remind my clients that at the end of the day, they're making the decision. They're the ones who have to live in the house. They're the ones that have to pay the mortgage payment. They're the ones that get the check when they sell. So they have to be happy with the outcome that they're getting. I am not there to make a decision for you, but I wanna give you all of the information that you need in order to make a good decision. And I wanna help you feel good about the decisions that you're choosing. If I have a different idea, I think you're making a bad choice. I'll certainly let you know about that in a, in a polite way, but I'm not here to you know, look at my clock and say, choose something, make a decision, I've gotta go golf, right? Like that's not the vibe that you wanna be getting from your agent. So look for someone who's very communicative, very education oriented, consultative in their approach, and not pushy like a used car salesman. Really, the sale of the agent should be selling you on working with them personally. They're not selling you on any particular house or any particular marketing strategy. Then I would say check with their um, you know, follow-up and availability. Uh, the number one complaint that people have about their agents is that there's not enough communication. The best that you're ever gonna see them is before they've won you over as a client, and once you are the client, then you get backburnered and you get treated like, uh, you know, I was going to say the redheaded stepchild, but I don't think that's probably uh, PC now. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You get treated like a second class citizen once you're in the fold. So make sure that they have a communication plan, whether that's weekly follow up, giving you their personal text messages, how late are they going to be available to talk to you on their phone. Uh, how fast are they going to get back to you when you reach out to them and making sure that they're very good about that. So if you do have weird hours, maybe you work at night, maybe you work a nine to five, maybe you need to go out and look at homes on weekends or do contracts late into the night at 11 p.m. That's something that you and your agent need to talk about so that you can make sure that they will be available to help you with those things at a time schedule that works for you. And last but not least, be sure to trust your gut. We all are, you know, finely tuned subconscious 
emotional detective machines. And if you feel like someone is pushing you or strong arming you, or it just doesn't feel like a good fit, but they have great scripting and great sales lines, I would caution you from making a decision to work with them. If you say, no, you don't want to work with them three times and they keep rebutting you, <laughs> that might be a dis uh, an indication that they're not going to be a great listener for you, that maybe your communication style is a little bit gentler. They're a little bit more of a director style that's kind of leading you down the path that they want you to take. So make sure you think about that and uh, find someone who's really going to listen to your needs, no matter how strongly or gently you communicate them so that you and your agent can have a good rapport and a good relationship business-wise moving forward. So I hope this has been really helpful. I'm Emily Cressy, your local Seattle real estate agent. If you have questions about the market in this area or need a referral to excellent agents throughout the country, please feel free to get in touch. I have a uh, great network of folks I'd be happy to put you in touch with. And you can always find out more about me at my website, homeproassociates.com. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.